Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, we're going to go over the newly announced Raspberry Pi 3A+. Let's get started. All right, so this will be a pretty short video. Uh, Raspberry Pi Foundation just announced this today. A lot of people were expecting the announcement of the Raspberry Pi 4. However, they gave us this instead, which isn't that bad. So looking at this, it's very, very similar to the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And if we take a look at their website here, the website says too long, didn't read. You can now get the 1.4 gigahertz clock speed, five gigahertz wireless networking and improved thermals of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in a smaller form factor and at the smaller price of $25. But that's not entirely true. There's a bit more information that I would like to bring to the surface here that they do talk about. So if we scroll down on the website, and I'll leave this website in the description because all this information is available there. So you can see right here, it's a 1.4 gigahertz, 64 uh, bit quad core processor, the exact same processor that is in the 3B plus. Here's where it differs. 512 megabytes of RAM, whereas the 3B plus has the full gigabyte. Uh, this one also does not have an ethernet port. So on their website, you can see them side by side here. And the 3B Plus is slightly bigger than the 3A Plus. And I would say, I don't know what it looks like. What is that, 75%? The A Plus is 75% of the size of the 3B Plus. A bit of a size difference. It's a lot, um, a lot smaller because you're missing a lot of USB ports. You're missing the, the Ethernet port here. Uh, but very similar width, I would say. And length is, yeah, three-quarter size. So what does this mean as a consumer? Uh, I will say that the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is still the best Pi out there. There's no argument on that. However, if you're into something a little more portable, if you're looking to experiment, maybe put this in a handheld device, uh, this 3A Plus gives you that versatility because it's a lot smaller and it's more powerful than the Pi Zero so you can emulate more things. And if you're wondering where to get the 3A Plus, uh, it's available on buyapie.ca here. So in Canada, this retails for $32.95. And in the States, it's available on pieshop.us for $25. And if you're looking at waiting right now to pick up the Raspberry Pi 4, that's what everyone thought was going to be announced, it looks like it may be a ways off. It, it's a very interesting uh, little bit of text they have here. So it says, back in March, we explained that the 3 Plus platform is the final iteration of the classic Raspberry Pi. Whatever we do next will of necessity be less of an evolution because it will need new core silicon on a new process node with new memory technology. So A Plus is about closing things out in style, answering one of our most frequent customer requests and clearing the decks so we can start to think seriously about what comes next. So does that mean the future of the Pi is a ways off by the sounds of it? Yes. Does that mean the future Pi will be different? Maybe in layout out of necessity. So it's very interesting. But well, what I can say on this confidently is that if you do pick up a 3B Plus and you have a very specific goal for that, you should be absolutely fine. And plus they're 35 bucks, like they're not that expensive at all. So with that being said, I still fully support the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. The 3A Plus looks like it's a very specific market that can probably still emulate everything close to as well as the 3B Plus, just a smaller form factor. So I'd still recommend the 3B Plus over the newly announced 3A Plus, unless you specifically need something with the 3A Plus. But that's about it. Anyways, that's all I've got. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of the A Plus in the comments below. And if you do have a specific need for it, what you plan on doing with it. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Thank you, everyone. Take care.